Hi, and welcome back to the Spixel YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about webhooks and comparing them to WebSockets. So both of them deal with real-time events, but in very different situations. Uh, so if we start with webhooks, webhooks are commonly referred to as like reverse APIs or API callbacks. And this is usually used for server-to-server -server communications. And basically, one server will provide a URL to the other and say, hey, when some event happens, will you please send me an API request uh, at this URL? It's very versatile for integrating two separate applications. Uh, and so it's used very commonly, for example, um, in payment systems, uh, so like Stripe or PayPal, to send these notifications to other applications when a payment is initiated, when it's successful, when it's failed. And then the receiving application can then decide what needs to happen within their system based on that event. Now let's talk about WebSockets. So WebSockets are full two-way communication that's done over one TCP connection. So it's used much more often in things like instant messaging apps where there's real-time interactivity happening between two different people or two different systems. So when should you use webhooks and when should you use WebSockets? Uh, hopefully the examples that I gave uh, can uh, get you started in terms of how to think about it. But a, a good way to distinguish them is that webhooks are one-way communication. So in the example that I gave, whoever is receiving the event transaction information from Stripe, they don't need to send any information back to Stripe. Stripe doesn't really care what you do with that event notification. It's just they need to know what is the URL to send it to. So that's like a one-way communication from Stripe to the webhook receiver. Whereas with WebSockets, it's people talking back and forth, like in instant messaging or even a video game or some sort of like collaboration app where um, there's multiple people that need to see the same thing at the same time. So that's a pretty good explanation of webhooks and WebSockets, what they kind of have in common and the key things that make them different and their different use cases. In fact, actually, one thing that we didn't talk about is that you could probably even use them together in some way. So if you have some application that uses WebSocket connections um, to initiate these chat sessions, for example, perhaps you would want to send the webhook to another system when one of those uh, connections is initiated or when one ends. Uh, and that way, third-party systems can integrate with, with your chat system. So if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, uh, share it. Uh, and don't forget, if you like this type of content, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.